Genesis has just released an all-electric version of its mid-size GV70 SUV. And it tops out the four petrol and diesel versions of the GV70 range, offering superior performance and the highest price. We got a chance to drive a prototype version of the electrified GV70 a few months back on a private test track, and we came away impressed with its pace, its ride, and its refinement. But now we've got the production version, and we're going to find out how it goes in the real world. And that should bring some clarity as to how the Korean SUV might want to sway attention away from rivals such as BMW iX3, Mercedes-Benz EQC, and Audi e-tron. But before we delve into how the new electrified GV70 goes, let's recap on what it is. The electrified GV70 arrives in the wheel tracks of the first small electric SUV from Genesis, the GV60. Albeit, the GV60 isn't called electrified. Why? Because the smaller GV60 is based off the eGMP dedicated electric platform shared with Ionic 5. However, this GV70 is underpinned by the same chassis shared by its internal combustion twins. Hence the term electrified. During our prototype drive of the EGV70, it was forecast that the price would land somewhere between $105,000 and $115,000. Well, no. It's actually $127,800. It does come in one high-spec trim, complete with a Genesis luxury package accoutrement. But it won't be lost on some tyre kickers that that's approaching forty dollars more than a full-spec, fully-optioned turbocharged V6 version of the GV70. And Tesla's dual-motor Model Y performance. But, you might argue, the Tesla is not premium enough. Well, how about BMW? The electric iX3 clocks in at 115,000, but it's only single motor and doesn't offer this level of performance. And Mercedes-Benz EQC, well, that starts at 123,000, tops out at just under 150, so it's here where the Genesis seems right on the money. But while it's easy to get caught up in comparisons, the electrified GV70 really should be taken on singular merit. So, let's take it for a drive and see how it goes. The electrified GV70 has dual motors, one for each axle, and each bringing 180 kilowatts and 350 newton meters for a grand total of, you guessed it, 360 kilowatts and 700 newton meters. It's also all-wheel drive on demand, so it can decouple the front motor and axle in certain driving conditions and in certain drive modes. Performance, well, it's a cracking 4.2 seconds for the sprint from zero to 100 kilometers an hour, but that's in boost mode. In regular comfort mode, it dials things back to 320 kilowatts and 605 newton meters. And with that, performance is a little more leisurely 4.8 seconds to 100 kilometers an hour. But where's the fun in that? To access boost mode, you press a button at the bottom of the steering wheel, which primes the system, and then it uncorks 360 kilowatts for 10 seconds. It's quick and seriously quick, though it's not quite as ludicrous in performance as that offered by Tesla. But sheer performance isn't the point of the EGV70. It's after polish pace, and it matches that with a polished chassis. Electric drive is crisp and urgent, but what I really like about the character is that the ice chassis really brings organic dynamics. Sure, with a curb weight fast approaching 2,400 kilograms, there's a fair amount of inertia at play when you start tipping it into a corner. But the hefty battery pack is located low and between the axles, which provides a really low center of gravity. That's part of the equation, but it's also the adaptively damped road preview suspension and the big 20 inch wheels that really leverages some of its dynamic prowess. The variable ratio steering is fluid, the chassis is nicely balanced, and in general, it's quite grippy and reactive. If there's a chink in the armor, it's when you activate sports mode. Sure, it really ups the enthusiasm, but it also makes the controls a little bit numb. How about the all-important topic of range? Well, Genesis advertises a range of 445 kilometers WLTP. And power comes by way of a 77.4 kilowatt hour battery. You can adjust brake regeneration using the paddle shifters and in its most aggressive mode, it offers handy one pedal functionality. Recharge times, well, Genesis claims it'll go from 10 to 80% battery charge in as low as 18 minutes, if using a 350 kilowatt fast charger. And it can recharge on a variety of 400 or 800 volt infrastructures without the need for a converter. Boost mode? Well, let's try it out. Oh, that electric thrust is just immediate and solid, and you can just feel the front wheel scrabbling about. Very impressive. 
In design and execution, Genesis really knocked the regular GV70 out of the park, and the electrified version continues that strong form. But there are some specific touches, such as the content of the 12.3 inch 3D digital screen. And you get faded quilting on the Nappa leather seats. Both front seats are 18 way electric with massage function and you get other luxurious touches such as active noise cancelling, a sport type three spoke wheel and tri-zone climate control. It's rich and fancy in here with lush material choice, but it's also quite conventional. So it sidesteps some of the showy weirdness that you find in the likes of, well, GV60. The 14.5 inch touchscreen multimedia system is crisp, fast and chock full of features, including augmented reality navigation. So it's slick and flashy, but it also needs to be practical. So let's check out row two. Rear room is decent though, I wouldn't call it class leading. And while the seat backs do tilt, there's no slide functionality. The floor is a little higher than you find in the GV70 though, you don't really notice it. And because there's no tail shaft, the floor is nice and flat. Dedicated third zone climate controls, dual USB ports and cup holders in the armrests are nice but expected details. Because the battery is in the floor, there's really no compromise when it comes to boot space. So you get 503 litres. You also get a handy vehicle to load power bank that can supply up to 3.6 kilowatts of household grade power for electrical appliances or laptops. The EGV70 also piles on the safety, such as eight airbags, including a front center bag, a blind spot view monitor, blind spot collision avoidance, reversing AEB and rear cross traffic collision avoidance. There's plenty of uniqueness to the electrified makeover with a unique grill, a specific front bumper, and a cleaner rear fascia. And the charge point is hidden up front behind the crest. The 20 inch wheels are unique too with bespoke Michelin Sport tires made for Genesis. While it's easy to draw comparisons with other electric family haulers with premium badges, the electrified GV70 does pull a trick that's not quite so obvious. It actually makes for a compelling competitor against petrol powered rivals such as Audi's SQ5 and the Mercedes AMG GLC 43. The Genesis is remarkably similar in pitch, it just happens to be electric. So it lays on big performance, tech and safety, but perhaps the most appealing thing about its character is that it is conventional and familiar. There's really no electric car weirdness about it, and yet it still taps into that wonderful EV thrust. So that's what I think, but how about you? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe while you're at it. And as always, thanks for watching Chasing Cars.